dear viewers this is another part of 10 storied building design course today we will design great beam using the etaps result and this excel sheet i have prepared for detailing of beam so let's start this is our grid beam layout for example this is gb1 gradually we will design for gb2 or grid beam 2 grid beam 3 grid beam 4 this side 5 6 7 8 and this one 9 so as an example i will show one beam design using the etaps result for this one accordingly all of you can design other beams using this design result and this excel sheet this excel sheet i will share under the tutorial you can get this one so let's start here the values we are getting in inch square longitudinal reinforcement 0 0.5 0 0.15 0 0.52 Remember that this top river area showing for top steel, bottom river area showing for bottom steel. This is showing three places of beam as there are three portion of beam, column side, middle portion and other column side. Now this value we will put in our excel sheet 0.5. Then 0 0.52, 0 0.52, then 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now here we will provide number of straight bar. Here we can choose the bar diameter. I will provide 16 millimeter bar and minimum we have to provide two number of bar at the top and bottom of beam. So two we will provide as per the requirement here extra rebar. It is not coming any extra. It is coming zero rebar. That means there are no need extra rebar. So this side we can provide here you can see this is grid A. So this column A B C D A B C D. So from this edge we will start here. No need extra river to 16 millimeter. This is straight bar accordingly it, it will come same like this one straight bar here we will copy this one for example here if i get from this side and this side it will choose the maximum one if it is 1.2 then extra two river required it will be calculated automatically so here i'll paste this one this I will change, change this one and then for this ok so here also no need extra river if it is here 1.2 this side 1.5 then it will choose maximum 1.5 accordingly here it will show the required extra top river So this one all will be same delete delete and delete this for top river done
now come to for bottom bottom reinforcement here we can see 0 0.32 0 0.27 0.28 0.34 0.34 0.32 0.34 0 0.24 0 0.3128 28 1827 less than minimum coming as per design so straight it will come at bottom we will provide first number of river to y16 okay this is showing the provided river area here also it is showing provided river area now we can go for bottom river to 16 okay for other beam for example here this is 0.78 for top steel if i provide here 0 0.76 0 0.79 0 0.76 0 0.79 then here you can see extra one if you change this one it will change the number extra river for example here 1.5 here extra 3y16 if i put 20 river then extra 2 20 is enough accordingly it will change if i put 25 or 28 then one is enough extra one okay now here 0.76 so for this beam top side extra 1 16 will come and for any span for example here 1.25 1.2 1 1.4 here for this span bottom side it is the required reinforcement then here if we have 2y16 all through the span here we can make it same like this cell because the straight bar will be same as starting one so this one we can change color input value is shaded value and from here from drop down list we can change the river dial here for all span straight bar if it is 2y16 then at the middle span here extra 3y16 river dial required 3y16 or 3 bar dial 16 millimeter required in that case we can provide like this one
1 extra bar here 2 i 16 plus here 3 i 16 here e x 3 that means extra in this way we can do detailing as per the ETAPS result using this excel sheet so in this way we will design other beams and floor beams also using same excel sheet and the ETAPS result so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update